Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we would solve the practice problem Java inheritance. So basically, in this question, we would learn about inheritance concept while using Java. So let's start. So basically, we one minute, one minute. Let me just go to back. One minute. So let me just go back. So basically in this question you can only use Java as the programming language, okay? So basically inheritance is an object oriented programming concept, okay? And it is a very important concept. So basically in this concept what happens there is class 1, this is C1 and this is class 2. So what happens is if C1 is inherited by C2, that means inherits so what happens is that while C1 is getting inherited to C2, it can use its methods and functions, okay? So basically when one class inherits another class, it can use the other class methods and features, okay? Basically functions, methods, variable. So basically if C2 inherits C1, then it would be able to use all the variables, functions, methods declared in C1. So this is what I mean by inheritance. Now in the question, basically we have a class C1 in which P plus Q is happening. That means two numbers are getting added. I have C2 which is inheriting C1. Okay. So basically that means it already knows about addition now. Okay. Now what we need to do is in C2 we have a function where P multiply Q is happening. Okay. So basically now C2 knows how to multiply two numbers and it also knows how to add two numbers. So using these two I need to complete a function over here where a number is getting added as well as multiplied. So basically I need to do P star P that is multiply P into P plus Q star Q. So basically now I need to create a function, complete a function basically that can do both addition as well as multiplication. Okay. So this is my task. I just need to complete this function. So I hope the concept is clear to you. So now let's move forward to the code part. So guys, we need to go to the practice portal. In the practice portal, what you guys need to do is, in the difficulty level, you need to choose school. Once you choose school, you need to find the problem Java inheritance. Okay. And then you need to click on solve. So let's do it. Okay. It's opening. Now the question is coming here. Let's read it. Inheritance is an important pillar of OOPS object oriented programming. It is the mechanism in Java by which one class is allowed to inherit the features, fields and methods of another class. Now they have given an example. Let's see that. See, so over here they have explained you the question. There is a class C1. Okay, this class is adding two numbers like we discussed. Now there is another class C2 which extends. Extends means inherits. Okay, that means it is inheriting class C1. Okay, so it is inheriting it. Now one minute, let me click this. Let me scroll down a little. Okay. Now after inheriting, it is multiplying two numbers. Okay. So now it knows both multiplication as well as addition. So now what do we need to do? Let's see that. Okay. One minute. Let me clean it. Okay. So we can make object of a class C2 which can use both multiplication and add methods. Main function is already created in the editor and instance of class 2 is also made. So the task is to add a method in class C2 where task is to take two parameters as input that is A and B that means P and Q and print the sum of their squares. Okay, That is P into P plus Q into Q. Changes in the main function has already been made. Okay. So basically like we have discussed, we just need to do that and we have to code over here. Okay. So we just need to code over here. So let's do that. One minute. Let me clean the screen. Okay. So now guys, what do we need to do is we need to code, right? 
so let's code okay so basically first we need to do system dot out dot println right so system dot out dot println right now in the circular brackets i would specify you know p star p that means p into p plus q star q that means p square plus q square okay and then we just need to add a semicolon over here and now let's test it by clicking on compile and run so it is getting compiled let's wait we need to give it some time let's wait okay it is taking some time we need to wait okay so the compilation is complete let's check it out so see my output is matching with the expected output so now let's submit the problem so let's wait it is getting submitted okay it is you know okay so the problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the question java inheritance so i hope you have found today's video helpful and you guys have enjoyed the session thank you so much everyone for joining me today thank you